be uh, there'll be a bunch of trucks here. How many trucks are gonna be here? I don't know. Uh, they sold out pretty quick, though. I'm not sure. They sold out in like two days. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's, gonna, it's gonna be a good time. It'll be it'll be stacked full here in a little bit. Good morning, Jason. How are you? Great, great. Yourself? Doing good, doing good. Uh, we're it's a Friday morning over here at the 25th annual 75 Chrome Shop Truck Show. No rain, no rain. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, welcome to Florida. How's it been going for you? It's been going great. Been going real great. Been having a great time. We got here early, um, so we had plenty of time to wash and get ready before the rain drops and just not stress. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's that's a key, not stress. Have a have a good time. I was thinking that uh, this week, I've been up here since Monday, you know, a couple hours each day. It's nice to be able to have the time. And of course, I'm not cleaning anything, but it's nice to have the time to visit with guys and kind of catch up. And it, it's almost like it's a week-long truck show yes. instead of, you know, two or three days. Oh, it's absolutely great. You can 
have fun with your buddies, meet new people, hang out with guys you only see when you go to shows. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great. You don't have to have the pressure. You don't have to go, go, go. You can work a little bit, take a break, mm -hmm. have a soda, just go back at it again. Yeah, for sure. Now, how many years have you been coming to this show? This is my third year. First year actually bringing a truck in here. Um, two years ago, I was here, and I didn't have a truck that really I felt fit in the show. So I sold that truck, bought this current truck last year, and it was still like really new at the point, and I missed the spots to get in. So I told myself, I like this show. It's a great time. I'm going to do everything I can to be in the show. Awesome. Well, you made it. Made yes. it in. Yes, somehow, some way, with the crazy registration this year, I made it in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on the show list overall? Since we're on that topic, and then we're gonna jump into this truck and talk about the truck. But what do you what do you think about the show with the previous years that you've been here? I like this show because you get a flavor of many different areas of the country. You have your Midwest flavor, you got your Florida flavor, your East flavor, a little bit of your West flavor. It's kind of, in my opinion a lot of different looks of oops, sorry a lot of different looks of trucks at one place yeah where a lot of people can't see that it's either california or midwest or florida this show after the winter just brings everybody together and that's what i like about it tell us about the truck that we're standing in front of uh it's a 2023 389 295 wheelbase 565 2050 torque cummins um color is cool gray uh color is deceiving because some some photos it looks blue, some photos it looks white, some photos it looks darker gray, but it's called Cool Gray, it's a Marlin blue frame. Uh -huh. I kind of wanted to have a flavor of, <clears throat> the way I look at it, Chris, <clears throat> I'm 45. When I rode with my dad when I was younger, because I'm a second generation driver, I always told myself, you know, a little kid riding with your dad, you're like, I'm gonna drive that someday. I'm absolutely gonna drive that someday. And he's like, oh, okay, you know, parents are always inspirational. Yep, yeah, yeah. Nine. you don't know what it's like kind of deal. And I'm like, when I had the chance to actually buy this truck and, and put my spin on it, I wanted to kind of have that, my generation, that flashback look. I know it's hard to do that with the 389, but I tried the best I could with my ability. And I'm only a one truck deal, so I can't go crazy right away. Mm -hmm. So that's why I went with the seven inch round headlights the Dane Nelson visor. Panelite came on board, great friend, Jim McClure, great guy. He's like, what kind of lights do you wanna do? I'm like, I just wanna do stainless panels. I wanna do amber lights. I just wanna kinda of keep it mellow, kind of that older school deal. So that's kind of what we went with. And then the cowl panel, they, uh, I call the truck nothing fancy because the truck in my eyes will be nothing fancy. I'm just a normal guy. Look at the rides here. There's some crazy trucks here. It's not fancy. You know, it's, it's my truck. I built it for myself and nobody else. Mm -hmm. So, and then I went with 80-inch Hogue built fenders, mm -hmm. had them color matched. I just recently got that done. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just kind of my vision of throwing it back. It's it's like the 65, 70-year-old guy that goes, when his age was, that 70 Chevelle SS. Yeah. You know, that Hemi Cuda. You know, the stuff like that. That's kind of my deal. Nice. I, had a lot of help along the way, busted my tail, and I I, I got, I, I'm trying to get my, my dreams and goals. Well, it looks like you got it together, man, those dreams and goals, that the truck looks great, thank and you. it's simple and clean, and. That was my goal, thank you. I'm a drag racing guy, I'm a hot rod guy, I drag race, I try to do this, so I kind of wanted to bring that kind of hot roddy flair to it, in a way as much as I could. When you mentioned hot rodding, it made me think about some, sometimes the guys will race their cars and they're not finished painted, you know, they're just, they'll go out there and race them as is. And almost like a, like a primer, primer kind of gray. You hit so, the nail on the So head. is that kind of like yes. that? When you see some hot rods, my flavor is the guy that's got the car done, frame painted, this and that. Yeah. And he's not quite sure on the color he wants, but he paints a primer gray, looks good, and. A lot of guys don't change that, and that's my, that's my, you hit the nail on the head nice. seeing what I was going for, because right, cool. that's exactly the look. Primer gray, everything else is kind of finished. All right, cool, so now we can just get some super singles on the back and give it like a stance. I didn't have time to get it back before yeah. the show, so we're gonna do that for the AMCAN show yeah. in uh, Racine, Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get that done, but it should give it that nice little rake look nice. that I'm trying to go for. Yeah. 
we got to see some of the things that you're talking about with the panels and things, and we're getting a good look at that dash. What do you like? What do you like about that? Uh, that this new display. I call it my 15-inch iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like it. A lot of guys hate it. They, they hate it on it big time. I like it. Everybody's like, ah, oh, it's too bright, but you can actually adjust the light in the sun to get it pretty dark. Yeah. Okay. Nice part is if you pull in somewhere and need to back up, you put it in reverse, it kills everything. Okay. The dash goes dark. It shuts the radio off, everything. Yeah. I thought for a second you were going to tell me that uh, our, our rear camera <laughs> no. comes up. I wish that. there was an integration to do that. I can see eventually somebody having something like that. Yeah. It would be great. I'd be all about that. That'd be cool. Yeah. All right. I, I guess I need to go into uh, invention mode. That'd be uh, pretty yes, awesome. You do. Yes, you do. You could you could be a multi-billionaire on that yeah, deal. Yeah. Well, by the time people hear this, they're going to steal my idea. And, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're here on the back side of the, the truck. Uh, whose stocks do you have? Uh, Dynaflex, 8-inch exhaust. Right. They're actually dummy exhaust. Okay. But 8-inch uh, exhaust, miter cut. Cool. Yep. And this deck plate here, who made uh, that I for you? I would custom 7-foot long over the frame deck plate. Kind of goes with my thing that I'm going for. Mm -hmm. I didn't want an inlay, but I wanted something that I could still have a deck plate mm -hmm. and still look good. Okay. And Iowa Customs had this, and I'm like, I think we're going to try it and see how it works. Yeah. So this is easier to install then? Oh, way easier. You just put it on top. There's braces that go in between yeah. and just put it on there. Okay. Like a one beer kind of project then? Yes, pretty much. One beer. Oh, one, cool. Or two. Yeah. Maybe yeah. turned into three. Very nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice. And so I like, uh, <clears throat> you mentioned the name of the truck. So uh, what's the squirrel inspiration there? Nothing fancy. Uh, final fill. Pill I should be here today adding more pinstriping to the truck. Um, Nothing fancy, like I said, it, 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 it could go two ways. It's mm -hmm. risky, but yet family friendly. Mm -hmm. Depends on, I'm not gonna say it, but depends on how you read it, mm -hmm. kind of type of deal. Yeah. The squirrel is because I got ADD, and it's like, I'll be doing something, it's like, squirrel, mm -hmm. squirrel. Mm -hmm. And that was Evan Steiger, Evan T. Town and Polishing. Uh -huh. He says, you gotta have a squirrel on the back. <laughs> it's nothing fancy, you gotta have a squirrel on the back. And he suggested doing the, uh, the tuck shirt on it. So when Flannel Philip was going to do the first time the pinstriping, um, Evan mentioned on a live feed on his way to another show, Philip, you should paint a squirrel. And he's like, I'm on it. We're going to get it. So, yeah, that's all hand painted, distressed lettering. Uh -huh. Very nice. Yeah. Very cool. Now, uh, you're attached to a skateboard here. Uh, yep. What are you normally hauling? Uh, we usually haul a lot of coils, equipment. Uh, mostly the part I do is a lot of coil stuff out and back. Usually don't pull a skateboard. I usually pull a, a blue-sided Conestoga. Okay. So, yeah. <clears throat> one of Don's trailers. Okay. I'd like to thank one person. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mike, Mike Coyne at Jeep's Auto Body in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Um, he did all the painting just recently on the def cover to tanks, air tanks, this. I'd like to thank him. He, he's another huge help. Uh, Evan for all his help on polishing. Um, Don for yeah. putting up with my goofiness. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah, but yeah, it's just kind of that thought. I had a lot of help and a lot of inspiration along the way. So that that's kind of nice to have people that's been through it yeah. to help you out. Right on. All right, cool, man. All right, all right we'll see you soon. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate yep. it, sir. Enjoy the rest of the show. Definitely.
Well, good morning, Gary. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Doing good. Good. Uh, welcome to the 25th annual 75 Chrome Shop Truck Show. Yes, sir. Uh, we're standing in front of a, uh, something that really caught my attention yesterday when you guys were bringing it into the lot. Uh, we all love to see old trucks and things yes, like sir. that. So I'm um, glad you brought it here. You bet. Yes, sir. So where are you guys from? Seymour, Texas. Okay. Yes, we're uh, about how long uh, was, of a drive? I was 1,300 miles. Okay. Yeah. And you guys, uh, how did you break that up getting here? Two days. It yeah. took us two days, yeah. Okay. Did you do any sightseeing along the way? No, or? not really. We just stopped made and come on. All right, yeah. all right, good. Well, well, what made you come to this show then? Oh, there was a guy in Illinois named Mickey Gwillem. Oh, He's yeah. building me a little window, Peterbilt, but he didn't get it ready. So we registered early, so we decided to come anyway. Okay, yeah. all right, great. <clears throat> well, right away I was asking you uh, about this uh this truck on the hood and yes sir. and this this patina here i was going to ask you if that if that's something that you did or that is that weathered this patina? truck come out of california and it was originally red and white okay and then another man bought it and painted this brown so i guess it just bled through over the years uh -huh. and mickey the guy i bought it from he mickey gwillem mm -hmm. he uh he kind of patinaed it and kind of cleared it before i bought it off him yes. i've had it two years okay yes sir oh, it looks and great we, we pulled it out of a barn and started working on it and we're here <laughs> yeah, very nice. So, uh, what year is it? 86, 1986. Okay. What do you got for a motor there? It's a four and a quarter B model, 7 FB. Cool. Uh, how many miles do you have on the truck? Well, we don't even know. There's probably a lot. Yeah. yeah I'm not sure. So, yeah. probably obviously oh, yeah. over, yeah, over probably a million. million or two on it. Yeah. I bet you. Cool. Any any other uh, backstory or history on the truck that really, you might know of? I think it come originally as a glider, and uh, he put a four and a quarter in as a day cab. It's got a low air leak suspension and it's big hold. Mm -hmm. And it's got an 18 speed, 355s. Okay, all right. So what do you guys do with it? Because it sounds like you know, this boy will get on the road and run. We just said, I mean, it just sits in a barn, really. We pull walking floors where we are, but we yeah. don't pull anything with it. Yeah, all right. I might need to come borrow it for you. Yeah, you know, go. <laughs> off <get> you. <laughs> <laughs> Back home, what do you guys do? We just pull walking floors and, and uh, go to dairies and feedlots and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Okay. Uh, how long have you been in the business of trucking? Since uh, my whole family's been in the business since 1958. Okay. But I bought my first truck in 1998. What was that? A Freightliner cab over. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, nice. Well, you still have it or what? No, I don't have it anymore. Oh, no, boy. sir. Now, it's sometimes you hear stories where guys will identify and find where their trucks that they used to own yeah. are. I bought it back several years ago, and I just... I sold it again. You sold it yeah. again. I wish I had it now. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, you hopefully you can track it down right. again and yeah. buy it again. Yes, sir. That's cool. Yes. Sir. Uh, so, what other truck shows do you guys get to? This is really the only one we've been to. Really, we're going to go to Tonkawa this year. Mm -hmm. It's up in Oklahoma, <laughs> and probably maybe the Denton. They got okay. a big Peterbilt show there. Okay. I'll probably go there maybe. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, so let's go back to the truck, the trucking business. Uh, mm -hmm. About how many trucks do you guys run? Well, I, I've got about four drivers. And then I've got some guys that pull my trailers. Okay. So when we're busy, we'll run 18 to 20. It's slower right now. We run about 10. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, question for you. Sure. Now, when it comes to owning an, an old truck mm -hmm. and things like that, some guys like myself, I would love to at some point own, own a truck. Or, yes, sir. Um, what are some things that you'd want to tell a guy that they have to be patient with or careful with if they want to restore a truck? Well, if you got an old truck and you're going to run it, you're going to work on it all the time. Unless you rebuild all the wiring and the airlines and everything. I mean, because it's always something. Mm -hmm. You're going to be working on every weekend. Even new trucks. I mean, you got to work on them every weekend mm -hmm. like we do. Yeah. Keep them up, you know. So what? what uh, what's your, your key to being able to do that every weekend? Just do everything that you can do yourself. Do it yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you want to make it in the truck business, you can't take it to shop for everything. Yeah, Anything sure. that you can fix, wheel seals or rear ends, we do all that stuff. Mm -hmm. We don't do the motor work, you know, but we radiators wheel seals rear ends whatever we can do we do mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's good well that's a good tip you know because you end up learning how to do that sure stuff anyway. and you need to if you're going to own a truck you need to learn how to do that anyway mm -hmm. yeah yeah Very nice dash that's that corvette dash yes sir is the interior uh, original i think the interior is original okay. it's been big hold as you see the the sleeper boot is cut out mm -hmm. where you can get some leg room mm -hmm. we put two yeah. new seats in it before we came yeah, that makes a big difference. Oh yeah, there's no room in these old 359s. Well, who got to drive it all the way from no, my Texas? My son Matt, he drove it here. Okay. Uh, tank covers. Where'd you get those tank covers they from? They were on it when I bought it. Okay. 
Now the deck plate, that's not original to this no, model. I, the guy I bought it from, Mickey Gwillem, I guess he mm -hmm. done that. Okay. All we done to it was change the wheels and tires, change the front hubs. Put hub pilot hubs on the front, put exhaust on it, put an 18 speed on it, mm -hmm. and uh, a clutch and fixed a bunch of oil leaks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's about all we did. Yeah. And put two new seats in it. Yeah. All right, well, uh, Gary. Yes, sir. It's been uh, a pleasure sure. yes, meeting you and you chatting bet. with you about this truck, and uh, yes, I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. You bet, yes, sir. All right, cool. Nice we'll to meet see you. you. Likewise. Yes, sir. All right, how's it going? <laughs> We're doing well. Yeah, it's a Saturday, uh, Saturday morning here at the truck show. Yes, you enjoyed sir. it so far? Yes. What's your name? Steve Roy. Steve, where are you from? Winter Haven. Yeah, and, and who this, this lovely lady? This is lady? my wife, Connie. Hi, hi Connie. How are you? I'm We're, fine. How are you? Transplants from Fort Myers. Yeah, Love and life. Is that recently or oh, yeah. a couple years ago? No, we had a certain storm move us. Yeah, yeah, that was a bad deal. Well, I'm glad that. Uh, how do you like it up here so far? We love it. Winter Haven is ours. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, Especially the... when I got nice neighbors like that young man down the end. Yeah, he's, 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 he's near you? Mm -hmm. He's His main office is in Winter Haven. He just parks up in Lakeland. That's right. That is true. That yeah. is true. So what do you like about the show so far? The old school trucks. Yeah. Watching these guys do all this elbow grease, like the one behind us, mm -hmm. putting all that in, it's old school. Yeah, yeah. I am retired from it, glad to be retired yeah. from it. How many years? Too many. Uh, give us a roundabout number. 82 till 2022, so 40 years. Okay, all right, right on, yeah, yeah. So what is your favorite part of the show so far? I like the shiny, the shiny teal and blue trucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was one, one group of trucks back there. The ones with the, they have glitter on the ground. Yeah. Those are cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's it's several, there's several teal trucks here this uh, this year. Actually, no, I take that back. There's there's one really teal truck, and that truck is on the shirt for the 75 Chrome Shop this year. And then there's lots of like baby blue colored trucks uh, as well. And then Taylor is doing there. Typical respect for company trucks, that brand new 990. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Take it from the factory and bring it straight to the show before yeah. it even gets put on the road. Yeah, I'm impressed. Good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the show and thanks and for And I enjoy you your. Yeah. I watch you very much, sir. All right. Well, enjoy. We'll Thank see you. Thank you. Yanni, how are you today? Good, bro. Here in uh, yeah. 75. Like yeah. Always. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Yeah, we're there at the 25th annual truck show, huh? Yes, finally. Yeah. So, what year is this? It's a 98 uh, International, 9400. I bought it from Snyder. I have it for 16 years now. Yeah. You said 16? 16 years. Wow. That's my baby for 16 years. With it being an old Snyder truck, tell us about all the things that you've customized with it. Well, that's hard to explain because everything is custom built for Because these trucks, nobody do anything for this kind of truck. So I did everything on my mind. And So let's start with uh, the bumper. Tell me bumper, about this bumper. That's an idea that came to my mind. And I make the, the whole bumper. I cut it on my backyard. It's uh -huh. old. Homemade. Yeah. I bought it like a raw, raw, you know, a regular bumper, and I make this because it's a steel bumper now. It's not, not fiberglass. Yeah. It's a steel. So, how long have you had this bumper on the truck? Oh, uh, this bumper I made it, I think, in 2013. It's almost 10 years with it. So, it lasts longer. Now, I'm going to ask a question with the bumper being on that, that long. You've not hit any animals or deers oh, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It take it just takes them out, huh? Yeah, yeah. Every year I hit something because yeah. it's too low. <laughs> but <laughs> I fix it bad and then repaint it. Yeah. Actually, it's up, it's just painted truck to bring it here. Yeah. Okay. It's brand new paint. Okay. So, all right. So tell me about the hood. 
how do you come about the hood? The hood has another idea because I, you know, my son loved uh, um, racing cars. And he told me that's why it says Ferrari on the sign. Uh, we, I come up with an idea that, you know, make something different. Yeah. And I did those, all these holes up here, uh -huh. everywhere to make something different. So make it look like a racing or something, yeah. you know, sport car. So how'd you modify the hood? I you know? uh, just cut it. Paint it and you know, do okay. fiberglass work. Got it. I love to do all my stuff. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. cool. Tell me about these wheels. Those, those the are wheels great. Wheels is a uh, custom design that I do for me because you know everybody have a Kenworth and rounds or Peterbilt uh, holes. So I custom build these ones for me mm -hmm. all around the truck. Uh -huh. I have a shop down in Miami that I do this for me. Yeah, and. They do a good job. Yeah. I came up with this I idea. Can, I, I like it. Uh, I used to have it all the way through, but since the design is um, uh, square, it gets cracked. Sometimes it cracks, so I have to change it. So yeah. that's why I designed this one. Yeah. It's not gonna crack. Yeah. Now, no, it's good. On the front, you know. Uh -huh. right, cool. Is orange your favorite color? Well, actually, my favorite color is blue, but since I bought it, from Snyder, I don't, back in the years it was hard starting and, and trucking, so I leave it orange for now. I adopt the orange truck, or the orange uh, color for me, yeah. so that's orange. <laughs> I like it. Definitely recognizable, nobody's gonna oh, mistake you yeah. with anybody else. Yeah. Huh? Even on the West stations, everybody know me nice. when I'm passing by. What size is the, the bunk? The bunk is like a regular bunk, like it's a uh, 72 inches, I think yeah. so. Okay. It's a pro sleeper. Okay. You actually have two bunks, two two beds, but I took the, the top one off. Mm -hmm. Because okay. I work with it, so it's not okay. a short truck, I work every day. Yeah. Well, speaking of work, uh, what do you haul? I haul uh, berries and apples. Okay. Where do you go? Like, where do you pick up and where do you go? Uh, Miami to Michigan and back. I offer no big produce. Okay. They do a good job. Yes. So, apples and berries all, all yeah. year. Yeah. All right. What is the wheelbase on the truck? Uh, wheelbase is 265. Okay. It looks longer because it's a front axle setback. That uh -huh. It's 265. Yeah. It actually comes with a 228, but I stretch it. Okay. It's 65. Did you do that yourself too? Yeah, everything is yeah. built by myself. Whose lights are in the back of the sleeper? That's the tunnel lights. When you turn it on, it looks like a tunnel. Every, I mean, all around the truck yeah. is like that. What year is your trailer? Uh, trailer is a 2016 uh, Red Dane. Custom wheel also. Yeah. Yeah, we do a lot of work on the trailer also. You're gonna put your buddy on the spot. He's doing a great job getting everything all oh, nice yeah, and Oh yeah, that's that's Dr. Polish. Yeah, yeah. He's pretending yeah. like we're not here. No, he's the one that polished my wheels. He yeah. do a great job. Yeah. That's the one. All right, cool. So give us a rundown on uh, this display that you have here. What's going on there? Uh, all right, this is a, a quality trailer repair. I'm here with him. Mm -hmm. He um, he do custom build trailers down in Miami. He mm -hmm. do all the underneath, uh, inside. He repair trailers, but also he do the yeah. spread axles okay. uh, set up with six airbags, uh, whatever you need for a trailer, they do it. That's why I'm, you know, with them here. Yeah. They do a really good job on it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I saw when you were parking the, the truck that you had uh, the axles were on two separate uh, airbag yes. systems. Yes, it have uh, uh, five tanks underneath mm -hmm. with a quick dump um, and lift, mm -hmm. both axles. So actually it's a heavy weight, um, uh, tandem and the right stationary mm -hmm. tandem. It's easy Even to get in and out, out whatever you want. Yeah, nice. Great. Even if you load it, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Let's have a look at the back side of the trailer. All right. So I love the look of the truck. Uh, it's definitely one of the ones that I that I like. It stands out, oh, you yeah. know, uh, out of the crowd with 
you know, I, I love my Peterbilt and everything, yeah, sure. and my Kenworth. But this this just stands out. It's it's fun to look at. Oh yeah, yeah. And the fact that you've had it for so many years and it's still doing you well. That's, that's part great. of the family. Yeah, yeah. right on. Did we did we talk about what you got for an engine in there? Uh nope. Hey, what do you got in there for an engine? I have a 3406. Actually, it came with a Detroit on it, but yeah. I swapped it. Yeah. I put a 3406 2WS on it. Yeah. yeah. And 18 speed with 336s on the yeah. back. Now I love it even more now. No, that's <laughs> the top. I think it's the top. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sure, man. How many miles you got on the truck? Uh, truck have almost two million, two million something, but the engine is around 500. Okay. Yeah. What do you think about the 75 Chrome shop show? Wow, man, 75, they always do a good job. I mean, on trucking, on bringing us to here, because they, they know we love trucking. It's not yeah. all about delivering and picking loads and, you know, make the job done. But also this, because, you know, some people don't understand what is this for us. Yeah. They do it. Yeah. They yeah. do it. They get it. They yeah, get it, right? Yeah. You name it, they've thought about it. Everybody knows. All right, man. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Enjoy the rest of the show. All right, for sure, man. All right, we'll see you. I appreciate it. Picking low. All right, so uh, introduce yourself again. Your name is? Sam. I'm Chrislyn. Maurice, go by Woody. Marcus. So what do you guys think about the show so far? It's a Saturday morning here. It's kind of early yet, but what do you think? It's awesome. Yeah, I'm blown away with the trucks here. There's a lot of big money and a lot of work put into these trucks here for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about yourself? Yeah, I agree. A lot of big rides, man. You know, hard work, dedication. Yeah. Hey, not, it's my first time here, man. Uh, I love it. Yeah. First time at this show or a show? First time here. Okay, so what's uh, what's what's standing out so far? Just seeing all these long noses. Yeah. Just love it, man. Yeah. Anyone that uh, that you that really caught your attention? Uh, all of them, really. Yeah. I'm, try, I'm trying to narrow nice. it down to like all one. Of them nice, man. Yeah. All of them nice. You can tell, you know, they the guys that only trust, they love it. You know, they put all their hard work in it. So, <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so if somebody handed you the key to one of these trucks to bring home, which one would you want it to be? You can't say all of them. <laughs> you right. <laughs> they had to be big bubbles. All right, all right. I'd like to see that fight and get that away from him. <laughs> I know, right? What about yourself? Anything stand out? I like uh, that the cattle setup. Um, Notorious PIG. Yeah, yeah. Um, bubbles. I like Brian Lee, but. I will say that cattle set about by far my favorite. Yeah, 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 right. What about yourself? I like this one right behind you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that one's sweet. I've got a 51 needle nose at home, so I'm getting ideas. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they'll be great. The, uh, at home, where is home for you guys or in the roundabout area? Phoenix, Arizona. Right. Yeah. You, guys, you guys from Arizona too? Or? Columbia, South Carolina. Okay. I'm from Pearson, Georgia. Okay. Yes, and Phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix, yeah. 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 All right, cool. Uh, anything saying now for you? Uh, lot raw, man. That's my, been my favorite. I'm a heavy hauler over there, so that one kind of hits home. You know, it's super clean. That's great. That's great. Uh, well, I'm glad you guys are enjoying the show. This is the 25th annual uh, 75 Chrome Shop Truck Show. And thanks for coming out. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah. And, and sure. I hope you don't mind being on camera because you are now. So. <laughs> I dig it. Yeah, it was All good right, right on. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yeah. 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 see you. Yep. See you. Yep, you too. Right, thanks, guys. Hey, good morning, Jay. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Yeah, doing good. We're uh, Saturday morning here at the, the truck show. Uh, how's it been going for you so far? Been going good. Good times, enjoying meeting everybody again, and just loving it. I mean, that's all I can say. I mean, I yeah. love it. I love when I do it. Yeah. Yeah. Any highlights so far on the show that that, that stood out to you? Well, the highlight for me here is Bubba Branch. That I, that man right there is a very inspiration. 
I look up to him, you know, and I love his truck. Yeah. 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 So let me, I'm going to go a little, you know, a little deeper into that. Why, what, what has inspired you, you know, as far as uh, Bubba Branch and the things that he's, you've seen him do over the last couple of years? I've, just how he is with everybody he meets, um, the advice he gives for new truck, you know, drivers, stuff like that. And he's very, I don't know how to put it, just humble. Mm-hmm. You know, he's down to earth. He's real nice guy I mean that's all I can say I mean I would have to agree I would agree with you 100% uh, so let's talk about uh, yourself how did you get into trucking family dad grandfather brothers uncles cousins everybody in my family yeah yeah so where did, uh, where was home base for for everybody like where did you all grow up at to be in the trucking family like that New Jersey started out in Jersey Okay. Yeah. Started out riding with my dad in his cab over pulling asphalt tankers. Mm-hmm. Uh, my brother, I mean, just all family oriented. I mean, everybody, my, I just, I talk about my dad and my brother is just, I just love it. I yeah. Mean, yeah. It seems like there's a couple of pent up thoughts and things. And, and yeah. sometimes when I have so many different thoughts about something, all the words don't come out because there's so many, so many things I want to be able to yeah. say. Uh, where in New Jersey did you guys uh, uh, we, originate? We grew up in uh, South Jersey, basically south, central South Jersey around Mount Holly, Burlington, Bordentown okay. area. Okay. That's where we all truck right. at. All right, favorite memory of uh, you know riding around with dad or grandpa or what have you, or, or your family there? Riding around, my favorite memory of my dad was, I was, about i guess 13 we're out in california he said you take the wheel i said okay and next i know i ran a truck off the road a little bit uh-huh. and he come up and smacked me back in the head is that <laughs> you're gonna don't wreck my truck uh-huh. so I, other than that yeah that was so after that uh the uh, how many miles how many more miles he allowed you to drive uh about another 150 more miles i drove but after that he said no more yeah. He said no more, yeah. And then when was the next time that you got behind the wheel, you think? My sophomore year of high school. Mm-hmm. And we were running local in Jersey, running asphalt tankers. And he got tired. He said, take me to the plant. That's mm-hmm. what I did. That's cool. Um, him and my brother, too. I, my brother was big, big, get on the road, <laughs> you can drive now. So <laughs> that's how yeah. it was, but yeah. Well, that's cool. And where, uh, where about did your brother run? Uh, we all ran... From Burlington, New Jersey, just around Mount Holly and stuff like that, locally, till we got older and we started running Florida. Mm-hmm. And ever since then, Florida bound as we've been. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Um, with that being said, how about how many years have you been driving? I've been driving about 28 years. Yeah. Is it like legally? Well, legally about 24, 25. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sometimes a lot of guys will say that, you know, how many years they've been driving them, but legally... Legally about 25 years I've been driving. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, what was the... So you drove your, your your dad's truck, but what was the first truck that you drove when you started driving? The first truck I drove was a 377 Peterbilt mm-hmm. for a company called Sunland Distribution out of Haines City, Florida. Yeah. 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 What'd you pull? I pulled uh, groceries down and produce back up, back to New York. That's cool. So you've made a lot of trips in and out of Florida. Yep. So you had to guess if you had to guesstimate how many trips you made in and out of Florida, how many you think that that would be? God, uh, it's got to be way in the hundreds. I, I I couldn't even tell you. A couple hundred, three hundred, yeah. four hundred. You know, in and out. In and out, twice a week sometimes. Yeah, you know. that's cool. So, and how many miles do you think you have under your belt? I couldn't even tell you. Yeah. Well, give, give, give us an estimate. You know. Be generous to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say at least about 600,000 miles that I'm using my belt. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Lots of stuff. Uh, what are some of your favorite memories of driving on the road, you know, uh, you know, experiences and things of that nature? Was when, when I worked for Sunland, it'd be eight or nine of us coming south together, all riding together, stopping, washing the trucks, and I mean, just... Delivering together, loading, going back up north together. That's that's what I loved about it. Mm-hmm. I did. It was, 
it was so much fun. Yeah, you're, you're never you're, you're never alone. You always had somebody in front of you or behind yeah. you, just moving together. Me and my group. brother were always together. Yeah, you could never separate us. Yeah, so that's yeah, cool. Let's let's talk a little bit about about your dad and your brother and things and what they meant to you. And uh, because I, you know, personally, you know, being a friend of you on Facebook and things, you know, and see what's happened over yeah. the last couple of years. So let's talk about that for a second. Okay. And then show you obviously show your appreciation for what they've been able to do for you. Yeah. I did. Only thing I, I do miss is I, w I wish I was able to really truck with my dad before he passed away. My dad passed away in 97, but both my brothers I trucked with. And I my, bro my other brother passed away in February, two years ago. And it's been hard, it's, it's, been, it's been hard, but I truck on for him and my dad and I couldn't ask for nobody better. Yeah. What were their names? My dad was James Mays, and my brother was James Mays, but we called him Jimmy. So, yeah. That's cool. Very cool. Now, um, with uh, what you've done so far, what are some things that you can share with other people? Like if another you know, person wanted to get in a position similar to where you are, you know, be either starting out fresh or you know, getting into a company or switching companies, what advice can you give? All I can say is make sure this is what you really want to do. Because this isn't just a job, it's a career. You know, you have to love what you do. And you learn something new every day, no matter how long you've been driving truck. Mm -hmm. Just pay attention and watch and learn. You know, that's basically all you can really tell somebody. Yeah. You know, it's, you have to want to do it and love to do it. Mm -hmm. So. Tell me about the truck, your year, and, uh, and uh, any other cool things that you guys got going on with it. Uh, it's a 2014 W900. This is my next project truck that I get to do. Mm -hmm. I helped my boss with his show truck. Mm -hmm. You know, it just I, I just love building trucks. Mm -hmm. I work on them, build them, then I get out of them and start on another one. Okay. So. Well, that being said, how many trucks do you guys have here today? We have eight. That's more than I thought. I was thinking five. So. What do you have going on with this truck here? This one right here. Um, like I said, this is my next project truck. We're getting ready to sandblast and paint the frame, lower the front end, do the interior. Mm -hmm. um, just the little things I've done now with the watermelon on the back and the mirror, mm -hmm. new bumper. It's just a little work truck right now. Okay, so let's walk so, around the front side, check it out. This is the first truck I've shown for LNT Trucking is back really? in 2017. What particular brands of uh, you know accessories do you guys like to purchase from? Uh, we do Lincoln Chrome, uh, Dynoflex, 12 gauge, Hodge built, um, trucks lights mm -hmm. we use, um, PDI, mm -hmm. stuff okay. like that. What are some standout features on this truck here? This one right here, the standout, the new headlights, and basically the glass watermelons we put on it. Yeah, these are so, your truck lights? Truck lights, yeah. Okay. Whose bumper is that? That's a Lincoln, Lincoln Chrome bumper. Mm -hmm. So. Alright, so we're standing in front of this truck here, uh, 754. I see slow poke on the name. Uh, how'd this truck get that name? Uh, the driver that's in it. He's slow. <laughs> slow in a good way or slow what? Slow in a good way. Slow in a good way. Real good guy. All right, let's uh, walk around the side here just a little bit. What are some standout uh, accessories and features on this truck here? The standout is the SH2 grill, um, the Lincoln bumper. Uh, we got trucks lights, the you know the fiberglass fenders. Mm -hmm. So who comes up with some of the the, the the color schemes and stripes and things for the trucks? My boss does. Yeah. yeah. Cool. All right, let's move on down to this next truck here. Yeah, this is our 9-11 uh, theme truck. Okay. It was dedicated to 9-11. Uh, it has a matching trailer to it. Uh, so. Uh, like a reefer trailer or something? Yeah. yeah. Is that all you guys do is like reefer and yeah. van and whatnot? Reefer. Okay. Yeah. So does that, uh, that trailer have a big mural on it or something? Uh, right now it has uh, the, our logo and on the back doors and the American flag and uh, the mural along the trailer skirt, the, you know, not uh, the trade centers. What year is this one? This is a 20... 22. Looks good. All right, let's move on down to this one here. I like what you guys did with the inlay on the striping here on this yeah. truck. This right here is 
my buddy John's truck, it's money inlay and stuff like that. Um, it's called the color of money. Uh -huh. So it's color of money because all it does is work. He don't take no time on it. Works, no. Works, works, yeah. Who comes up with the names for the trucks? Uh, my boss Lee does. Yeah. All right. So he's he's let's uh, let's uh, give us a quick description of your boss. I've not met him yet, but is he a guy that uh, is behind the desk or he's out there in the field there doing the no. deal too? No, he's out there in the field in the shop working on trucks. If he has to jump in a truck, he'll jump in a truck and do what he has to do. But Lee is one of the best guys I've ever worked for. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Very cool. Let's I, go. Over. Actually, I've been with Lee going on ten years. That's awesome. So, this one right here is I just got out of this truck and did my kit Kenworth. This one was all my build, ideal build. Uh, it's self-made. Um, simple, clean, nothing extravagant. My idea, I just, like I guess I love building trucks. And whose grill is this? SH2. Now, over the years, have you guys had a, uh, a preference between the SH tube or Road Works for your grill inserts, or just whoever's available uh, to get right it done? Right now, it's SH2 because our shop is like five miles from their shop. Oh, okay, so, that works out. And we have, and we have a Chrome shop too up there, six hundred six Chrome and. We're, ki we're carrying the grills, we're carrying, we're trying to get into where road works and all that too, so. Mm -hmm. All right, that makes sense. And 777? 777, this is my uh, buddy Will's truck. He brought this truck from nothing to something. Yeah, he, yeah, he done everything to the truck and he brought it a long way and it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's, actually, I drove this truck also. Yeah. Well, I imagine you treat the trucks well and you know how to, you know, you know kind of, you know, finish them in a way where they're they're looking good and everything else. And when the next guy gets it, it's good to go. You know, Will's done everything to this truck. Yeah. So like yeah. what? He's done the visor, the lights, uh, the grill, bumper, the fender. Yeah, he's done everything to it. And next, uh, eight seventy seven. Yeah, this is our breast cancer awareness truck. Mm -hmm. He likes to have a couple theme trucks just to support you know like 9-11 breast cancer and stuff like that absolutely you know if there's a local parade you can grab this truck put it in the parade yeah. and it just fits in just just perfectly and lastly 377 here on this the in row this is my boss's show truck this is the truck he built i helped on we, a lot of us helped on it he took it to mats for the first first time ever showing a truck he took it to mats and won a second place first time show with it that's pretty good He's wrapped the dash and you know some of the panels in it. 50 stars has done the floor. Um, he has a little more he's gonna do to it mm -hmm. for next year at Matt's. And uh, he started out with a little yellow international. And this is what he grown out to be. That's cool. Yeah. And another thing he done too, he had roll-on custom do his lug nut covers. It was the first time they ever powder coated it on the front and uh, stitched the logo in the lug nuts. Jay, it was, uh, it's been fun. Thanks for yes, taking the time has. to walk us around the trucks here. No problem. Enjoy the rest of the show, man. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. All right, we'll see All you. All right, man. Have a good day. All right. Hello, Hunter. How are you doing, sir? Doing good. How about yourself? Doing good. Uh, introduce yourself. Matt Spooner. And your name? Colton. Colton, nice to meet you. Now, you just walked up a second ago and you said, what was on the back of my shirt? Bill Spooner. Yeah. That person right there, a lot of folks are familiar with that that person and, and loved uh, by a lot of folks. And what's the relation? Oh, he's a related uncle to me. Yeah? Well, that's great. Yeah, he was born and raised in Alabama. 
and now he lives in uh, Arkansas. Yeah. yeah, very good. So what do you think of this show so far? It's a good show. Yeah? It's a good show. What about yourself? What do you think about the show so far? Good. Yeah? This is the first one we've been to. Yeah? I drive, I drive a truck. I haul cattle for a living. Okay. And uh, so this is the first one we've been to. We just kind of, we live in uh, Georgia, okay. about, two out, about 200 miles from here. Oh, great. Right around the corner. Yeah. So yeah. what's what's the, what stood out so far at this show for you? Probably the uh, old W900 up front. Okay. I like old school. Yeah, there you go. Keep it, keep it real. Yeah, for sure. And what about yourself? Anything stand out? Uh, what about the truck you was in last night? I like the old truck right down there. Yeah, what does it look like? Uh, it's mostly just brown. No brown. colors. To, no colors to it. Nothing. Yeah. No international. Okay. Oh, the one uh, said there's a photo of that that I took earlier in the week. Yeah. It's pulling like uh, a converted uh, trailer there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you got you, both of you guys got some good taste in trucks. We appreciate it. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're enjoying the show so far. Enjoy the rest of the show. You too, man. We'll be around for the good light to show you. tonight. Yes, sir. All right. Enjoy. I'll see you. Appreciate it. All right. Bye. Good morning, guys. How are we? Good. How are we doing? Doing good. Introduce yourself for the folks that don't know you just yet. I'm Charlie Houdinsia, and this is my wife, Lauren. Awesome. How's the show been going for you so far? Good. It's been nice. It's chance of rain but we kind of escaped it yesterday so it's been nice yeah. very good we're you... tired of wiping everything down every time it rains <laughs> <laughs> yeah for sure uh where are you guys from uh holland Patton, actually syracuse north of syracuse new york okay awesome. so what do you guys do well uh, first of all let's talk about the truck that we're uh standing next to the year make model since we can't see the front side of it just yet it's a 2015 uh p389 glider it's got a cat 2ws motor it's uh it's set up with the third axle we do a lot of uh not i wouldn't call it heavy haul but it's set up to be able to do that we do a lot of work um dealer direct in new york through our local dealers so i do a lot of like store to store transfer type stuff like that um i got a 21 um fontaine trailer so it's uh it's a nice little setup for what we do cool so what type of machines and things are you moving with it a lot of excavators, loaders, like your typical construction job site stuff. Um, I deal with a lot more of like dealer purchases versus like delivering rentals. I don't do a lot of job site stuff, more of like highway stuff. I like to drive. I'm not more. In, I'm not really into the local bounce around, do six machines a day. I like to keep a clean truck and stay on the pavement as much as I can. I catch a lot for it, but that's what I prefer. Cool. So what you're saying is that you're not shoveling tracks off and things I like that. I try not to. Yeah. Not that I'm lazy. I just, I don't, it makes a mess. I, everything, then my trailer's dirty and then you drive down the road, everything's mud and I don't like that. So that's cool. Uh, what's your role in this operation? Um, I, I'm not really sure. I kind of keep <laughs> saying at home, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, I actually do part sales. So I kind of help out with that side of things. If he ever needs anything, I bring it home. You know, we take care of, he just, he's not a mechanic by any means. So when it comes to parts, nope. he's like, this is broken, sends me a picture. I kind of get, get him back on the road. So that's kind of how that goes. That's awesome. Support team there. Yeah. It works yeah, out. I'm a, I'm a company driver. I don't own the truck or trailer, but the, the people that I work for at Constantine are fantastic. They, when I come over from where I worked previously there, he, you know, this is your truck. This is your trailer. I know how you are, I know how you operate, do your thing. And I've learned a lot I, versus being, I've always been a company driver, but working for companies where they kind of take care of everything for you. That's so I, right, I've got a really good leash as far as he, you know, that's your truck, you take care of it. And there's days I hate that because you get the true owner operator experience of having to fix everything and right in the driveway. Or but it's else. it's I've I've grown up and I've learned a lot from it, so it's it's been really nice. That's yeah. awesome. So yeah. let's take us back into to history, back into time. How did you get started with trucking? I grew up on the farm, so I was uh, all through school. I either knew I was going to stay on the farm or drive truck. I love trucks. I've always, I grew up in the country. I just, I've always, I had a couple local trucking companies, Longhorn Trucking and like Cedar Hill, which I've worked for both as I, you know, moved up through. And um, I just always, they always had really nice, clean trucks. And that was my thing. I, I'm always, I always said, I'm going to drive a really nice truck. My goal is to own my own someday, but with these guys here, it's they treat me so well that I just I I'm I'm very loyal to them because they've done very good by me. So I just 
I've always wanted something nice. I started out driving an old R model Mac with my first truck, and I thought I was setting the world on fire. You know, at that time, you're 18 years old. I can go if I got five speeds in reverse. This is the coolest thing in the world. And then you start working your way up, and I'm like, man, I started out driving crap. And I'm like, but you respect it. You know, a lot of these new drivers nowadays, they can get a job driving new stuff right away. And I was right on the edge of that having to work your way up through and I take great pride in where I'm at now just because I started like the old guys you know I started driving the oldest truck a company had and mm -hmm. so it's it's I've worked my way up through I take great pride in that that's great and that's what some you know folks that want to start trucking or get into the career trucking yep. need to hear you know you don't need to start on the fanciest of things yep. so um, over that time, what are some of the things that you've learned in, uh, like, in terms of like hurdles that have allowed you to, to be the driver and then the, the great person that you are now when it comes to trucking? I'll tell you one of the biggest things for me is having to learn patience. I am not, I, when you start out, you're young, you know, you get that almost like road rage mentality, you know, everything angers you, you know, people, traffic, and you just, I started out as, you know, 18, I knew I was going to drive a truck and I did, but I always had that got to go, got to go, and I would you know, not speeding tickets, but you bump a car in traffic because instead of being able to tell yourself, you just got to let it ride, you got to sit back and just go. It was always sitting up on the wheel, got to go, got to go. And that's when things happen. And I, the older I get and the nicer stuff I drive and you get paid for being a good driver versus having a job and they take good care of you for, you know, doing it the proper way. And so for me, it's, I've just had to learn to just, you need to just slow down. You just got to enjoy and I've gotten to the point I love my job because I like the change of pace. So it's, I know my family's at home. They know I'll get there when I get there. I'm just gonna, I enjoy what I do, so yeah. it works out well. Yeah. yeah. Just have to be patient. Yeah. So when he, when Charlie gets home, he's nice and cool, cool calm, and collected. He's not, all, <laughs> he's not all wound up from a stressful day of work, right? Uh, yeah, sure. If that's what you want. <laughs> that's what you want to portray. No. Um, when he comes home, it's it's pure chaos. We got three kids at home, and you know I work a full time job too. So when he comes home, it's it's go go go. It's honestly busier when he comes home than it yep. is when he's on the road. When he's on the road is when he actually has his quiet time, believe it or not. Yeah. So when he comes home, it's just pure chaos. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. I, I hear you. Uh, the names and ages of the kids. Um, Dalton is 10. We have Gracie, who is 7, and then Alex is our youngest. She's 2. Awesome. Yeah. Now, what, uh, as a, a trucking wife and trucking mom, what are some of the things that, you know, the highlights of things that you've been able to enjoy during uh, Charlie's career? Um, honestly, watching the kids grow up in it, believe it or not, like you earn a lot of respect watching everybody adapt to the lifestyle, you know. Um, our youngest is obsessed obsessed with the truck. She will be the first one out the door, she's at the steps, she's waiting to be pulled up, she's pushing the buttons, she'll slap his hand off the shifter. You know, she's the first one to like, that's my truck, not yours, get out. You know, and then you've got the oldest who enjoys it just because it's his peace and quiet. Like he gets to go, he lays in the back, he enjoys it, he can go and help with the equipment and stuff and he gets a whole different experience like when he's not in school you know because he plays baseball all the time so he's go 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 all year round so when he gets that day or two to actually just go and ride that's his piece it's like quiet. his downtime yeah. is he okay I'm gonna party. leave my sisters home and I'm just because I'm the type of kid I grew up I'm an only child so and I, I grew up in a quiet environment between the farms so I can just sit in a truck me and him will sit in a truck the first time I ever took him he went to Pittsburgh with me and I don't think either one of us talked for like the first six hours. <laughs> and I was like, I look back at him once and I'm like, you all right, bud, everything okay? He's like, yeah, what do you mean? And I'm like, all right. And he's just, he just enjoys the peace and quiet. Then you get the two year old, you know, she's, she comes, she will sprint out the door when I get home and she's in the truck. And I'm like, I just want to get out of the truck. I want to get away from it. And she just wants to be part of it so badly. So it's like, all right, get her in the truck. And you know, it's like, yeah. She'll make me take her for a ride. You know, she's too young. She can't go anywhere. So we got where we live. We can kind of take a loop. So I'll come home and she's like, I want to take a ride. So I'll throw her in the truck, take her around the block. You know, it takes 10 minutes, but you know, you get grabbing gears in the shifter and you'll, you'll have her hand up there. And she looked at me one day and she looked over and she swatted my hand and she goes, no daddy, I drive. <laughs> and she just holds her and you know, it makes you feel good. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's nice to know that what you do for your career isn't just a career, but your family can, it, it, nobody hates you for what you do. Cause there's a lot of times as you know, when you're out in the road or you feel like you're, you're shorting your family. Yeah. And to know that they don't feel that way, there's a lot of times she'll yell at me, 
because I get like that. And, yeah, it's you know, it's but, hard because like, and then we have Gracie who absolutely loves every part of it. She likes to help clean it. She likes yeah. to help pick the colors. You know, the, everybody asks about for the about purple. fifteen minutes, and yeah. then she's like, I'm yeah, done. She's like, I, she doesn't really want to go for the ride. She enjoys it to a point, but then you know, she's like, she's the one that helps with like, what color should I do now? And like, everybody asks him where the purple color come from. Like, yeah, we wanted to do something different. You know, purples. Everybody does the greens. Everybody does the oranges that go white. I mean, white anything works with. You know, so it works. But when it came down to that, she's the one that we're like, Gracie, what do you think? She's like, I like purple. Like, I want to do this. I want to do that. So she's yep. the one that helps with that kind of thing. But um, I guess being home with them, like the experiences in general, you know, they, you know, they're they're around other families that have their parents home every single night. So they appreciate when he's home and when we actually get time on the weekends or when it's during the week and he makes it to a game. Like, they appreciate that more than most people get the experience of. You know, everybody else eats dinner together every night. Everybody else does the homework. They do all the normal things. And, you know, they watch me work all day. They watch me you know, deal with everything every day and they watch him come home and, you know, we just make it work and they really appreciate that. And no, it's nice great. to see. Yeah, that's great. And I love hearing stories like that. So thanks for sharing that with me. Absolutely. So let's talk about the show here. Um, what do you think about the show so far? We love it. I, this is for us is, I really, realistically, to be honest, I don't have a show truck, but I take great pride in for where we live. You know, I, I had a, a good friend of mine, Kyle, did the, redid my frame and stuff for me this past week, and the trailer I kept at home, and I painted it and redid it all myself, and I take great pride in that. I, I, I'm kind of a jerk during the process because I stress out. I, I get down on myself because it's not as good as I'd like it to be, but I get, you know, we, we deal with that too, but, and then, so... In the process of doing that, I walk out one morning and we got three inches of snow on the ground. So I'm like, I'm doing all this for nothing. I take great pride in for where I live and for what I do with a trailer that gets equipment driven on and off to have it look as nice as it does. When I drive down the road, it's not, it's not that I'm a show off. I've had old friends that have, that have, you know, I, you look for attention. It's not that at all. It's I like to notice. I like the fact that people notice when you put good pride and take hard work and you put it into something. Yeah. That makes me feel good. And if that's a problem to people, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah you know? that's cool. And people here at the show, they're going to look yep. at this truck and still refer to it as a show truck, yep. even though it might be something that you might think it's not. Yep. We get we get more people that walk by and tell, them how, tell us how much they appreciate us bringing a real working truck to the show. You know, because there's so many people that, and there's nothing against any of that, that's what they get to do. You know, but there's so many people that just roll them out of the truck or out of the trailer and place them on the ground or you know the ones that never see actual equipment ever in something you know and then there's the ones like us that do this every single day you know and we watch we go through the struggles like oh this got scratched this week like now what are we going to do we've got three weeks to get this fixed you know or or whatever it may be or you know panicking because something's getting done last minute or like honestly on the way up here literally it was it was saturday afternoon and he had just picked up the truck from getting painted and next thing we know we put a new bumper on and we can't even get the hood to shut we're like what is going on the hood won't shut hood won't work and we're panicking on a saturday making phone calls and trying to get everything fixed last minute and those are all the things that people at this show appreciate when they walk by you know it's different than some of the other shows and it's nice when they put everybody together so everybody yeah. gets to walk by and enjoy yeah. both like for me it's a it's a sense of pride like to park next to what them guys have built that is amazing yeah. and then like they will tell you flat out you know like we like to see what you guys are doing we own trucks yeah. this is obviously unpractical for a work truck which it's not but I'm jealous as all hell. I would oh, love yeah. to have that. I would, if I could afford to do that, I would park this thing in a heartbeat, jump in my show truck, and I would take it across the country. That's my dream. But it's nice for me, perspective-wise, to park this next to that and be like, this thing runs every week, 70 to 80 hours a week. And when I pull into a load a piece of equipment somewhere, and someone's like, "Wow, you got a brand new trailer?" No, that trailer's almost two years old. You know, that makes me feel good. That's yeah. that's. It's that's a sense of accomplishment for me to know because I put a lot of work and when people notice that 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 makes me feel good So yeah, right on well you guys are you guys are keeping it together and keeping it looking right So we do our best. appreciate that and uh, what are your thoughts on the show? Uh, I love it. This is my favorite show of the year, honestly. I begged him when we first got together to come down here for, honestly, like three years. And then we finally said, we're doing it. We're going to panic. We're going to make this work. And he drove it down. We had no idea what we were getting into. We met some amazing people down here and made some really good friends. And now it's it's on our schedule every year. You know, we panic. I, I remind him three months until, you know, the show is actually released as to when they're even going to put registration up. Like, come on, you got a week, you got a month, you got yeah. two Delivered days. Delivered a like, load in go. Long Island, yeah, I was. Like, let's go, let's the go. The day that they opened registration, <laughs> and I'm, I'm trying to load a piece 
to him, you know. And he's like, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm doing it right now, you know. And so we keep we keep pretty close eyes on this show. This is one of our favorites. So That's great. Yeah. I, for where I live, there's not a lot of nice, like, not I wouldn't say show trucks, but there's not a lot of trucks. Like, it's mostly company, bigger companies. Yeah. So yeah. probably 90% of the friends that I've made are all in the show truck world. And they're by guys that are just like me and you that are, you know, some of the coolest people, the Don Woods, you know, they, they own what they own, but they, I can sit there and they'll talk to me like we're best friends, you know, like yeah. that's, and for someone like me, that means something because, you know, they don't, nobody has a right to, you know, I'm just some guy that nobody knows, but it works out for me because it, it's, a, most of the friendships I've made come from places like this, which is in the end of the day is really why we do it because, yeah. You know where we live it's just a you know there's not a lot of that camaraderie i guess is the word and um it's nice for me you know i that, like i said i could go just about anywhere across the country now and run into an issue and have somebody i can call if i if i need something and that that's a it's a good feeling but it's yeah, all because of great. shows like this yep. one you know yeah. it's it's where you can walk around you can talk to the people that drive these and have the same respect that you do no matter what level you're on yep. that's awesome well i'm glad that you guys are enjoying the show i'm glad that you're here at the show yeah and uh, we still got today, you know, Saturday, and yes, we have a little sir. bit of Sunday to enjoy it. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, make the most of it. Nice Thanks. to see you. Yeah, likewise. This is like a dream for me to be able to do <laughs> stuff like this. All right, right on. All right, we'll see you. Absolutely. What's your name, sir? My name is That's Rocky J. Yeah, nice to meet you. I've seen you around at some shows. How's it been going for you? It's been going pretty good. Yeah. How's it going for this show so far? It's it's been pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Do you find any trucks that have been the real standout trucks that you've liked? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. What, who's on your hit list to get filmed? Mm. What did we see? We saw that uh, the, livestock yeah. trailer, right? Yeah, that one. We saw. Uh, the notorious PIG. Yeah, notorious PIG. We saw the um, double vision. That one's definitely on the radar. Yeah. So, where do people go to see some of the stuff that you film? Uh, well, they can go to my YouTube channel, which is that truck kid J. Okay. All right. Cool. And uh, what do you got there in your hands? I've got my new children's book that I just released. Very nice. What's in it? Let's uh, open it up and flip to a couple of pages. Let's see what's in there. Well, we've got all kinds of trucks. Uh -huh. Got car carriers, dump trucks, sleeper cabs, cab overs. Uh -huh. yeah. Got every type of truck. We've even got some truck parts. Yeah. Okay. And truck shows. Now, did you do the write up as well? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Now, where can where can people find this uh, this book and, and purchase it? They can go to thattruckkidj.com or they can click the link in my bio to order it. All right. Well, you heard it. You know, got some fresh, uh, fresh physical material that people can that that kids and whatnot can get their hands on. That's, that's awesome. You want to leave me with a copy? Sure. First permanent library. Yeah, sure. All right. Awesome. I love this. It's going to go right on my coffee table, <laughs> right next to my other coffee table book. It's not too bad for grown-ups either. Yeah, yeah, he, for sure. He's got a unique appeal. He's got good vids for kids, but the grown-ups sitting beside him will also appreciate the content. I think. Yeah, that's, absolutely. That's, that's the hook. All right. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate it. Thanks, Jay. All right, we'll see you. We'll see We're you. big fans. We appreciate All right. you. You got it. Thank you. All right, have fun. Thank you. Good morning, Sam. How are you? Good. What are you doing, buddy? Doing good. Doing good. We talked briefly um, 
earlier in the week, but I wanted to circle back around and get a much more in-depth conversation with you. Sure. So uh, first off, how's it going for the show for you? It's going so good. Far? It's going good. Having a good time. Uh, seeing all my buddies hanging out and whatnot. A lot of nice uh, pieces of equipment here, obviously. Um, I'm kind of wedged in some big dogs here, so yeah. <laughs> feel a little bit out of place, but yeah. uh, I'm proud of what I got, so yeah. I'm glad I'm happy. Well, speaking of that, what do you got here? Uh, I've got a Peterbilt uh, 389 2020 model, uh, C15 Cat 18 speed glider kit. Um, I built it, I ordered it in 2019, late 18, got it in 2020, uh, time I got it on the road. Actually, my second trip when I got on the road was down here to Florida for the show in uh, 21. So Okay, that's the first time that I had seen it then. Yeah. For whatever reason, I thought that you had owned this truck for, for many years prior. Nope, nope. And uh, like I said, I don't get a chance to drive as often as most guys, so I've still only got like 31,000 miles on it right now. Nice, nah, something wrong with that. <clears throat> Do run a business back home with my brother, so, you know, I don't get to enjoy the uh, open highway as much as I used to. So, I, yeah. I hear you. Um, when I seen this truck, it gave me such a tropical feel, you know, with the colors and things. So tell me about how all that came together. Uh, I love the Caribbean, man. Uh, me and my wife, we take vacation about at least once a year, usually to the Caribbean somewhere. So I'm all about the islands, the palm trees and whatnot. So the bright neon kind of colors and whatnot, you know, I, I attribute that to the Caribbean theme. So that's how I came up with the yellow and the pink and the white and the palm trees and my windows and behind my name and whatnot. So Yeah, I love it. Uh, favorite place to vacation down there then? Um, the best place we've been so far, we made it twice there. Once we took the kids with us once, and others uh, was just the two of us. But uh, Turks and Caicos, it's beautiful. Um, I just took my wife this last October for our 20-year uh, anniversary. Happy anniversary, sweetheart. Um, we went down to Grenada uh, in October. So I'd say Grenada might be my second favorite behind Turks for sure. All right, cool. You heard it from the man himself vacation tips from Mr. Ditzfield. <laughs> All right, um, actually Ditzfeld. Right, right. All right, got it. So now let's talk about uh, trucking history. So how did you get into trucking? Uh, my grandfather started the company. He bought it, he was driving for Miss Aikens. He bought it from her in 19, he actually bought it in 58. He didn't change the name to Ditzfeld Transfer until 1960 to let customers get used to new management and whatnot. Uh, started out actually just moving like Montgomery Wards around town, you know, whatnot. Uh, when they deregulated trucking in 80, uh, we got into over the road trucking and uh, grew from there. He passed away in 96, but my dad started into warehousing in about 93. So uh, we also have quite a bit of warehouse space that we lease out. Um, my dad passed away in 2020, but sorry about that. I think it was, uh, thank you. Um, I think it was in 2010, me and my brother got into trash. So we also do residential commercial trash back home. We well, run about, uh, I think right now we got about 40 trucks all together with, uh, between local, over the road, everything. And we got about uh, 15 or something like that of trash trucks mm -hmm. uh, between packers and, and uh, roll offs and whatnot. Uh, got an awesome shop now. I've got three of the best mechanics. I put them up against uh, anybody in the country. Uh, they've been with us about the last three years now. So just maintaining and rolling. That's awesome. How is uh, how is that industry you know different from some of the guys that I know that have um, run the road and, and do what we know is typical as trucking? So give us like the elevator speech on that. On the trash stuff? Or? Yeah. Okay. So uh, the trash we just do like Pettis County back home. We do like most of the rural area. They have city trash, so we do the rural area, but small towns around uh, back home there in Sedalia. Um, but it's a pretty easy deal. You got throwers on the back of the Packer trucks. You got a driver in the truck, of course, you know, the roll offs that we do for the big commercial deals. Um, it's a pretty simple deal. I mean, you just pick up the trash, you take it to the landfill, you yeah. dump it. And, and repeat? Yeah. yeah. Any, yeah, any, head, any headaches in that sort of uh, work that's non-typical to the guys that are on the road that they have to deal with? I'm just curious about, you know, about that, the differences oh. and things. With the trash, you do a lot more with flat tires and whatnot because you're in now the landfill, so you yeah. run over some things okay. that you know wouldn't typically run over with a big truck for the most yeah, part. But sure. uh, um, that's probably about it. Yeah. So you, with you. you find yourself uh, gravitating toward a particular brand of tire just because of the frequency that you may have to swap out tires and things, or what? No, we uh, we basically run recaps on all them, but we we run a um, a thicker 
uh, tire or whatever, you know, a thicker ply okay. uh, to try to <laughs> maintain as best we can, but, but um, it is what it is. That makes sense. All right, cool. So now with um, pink, I see pink in different places. You're wearing pink today, pink hat, uh, pink nails and things. Right. Uh, what's the backstory <laughs> on that? So uh, when I built this truck, when you get it out of the factory, you get you get two color choices. So I went with the yellow and the white. Um, I didn't know my third color, to be honest with you. Um, I was down here and, and my other truck would have been in November of 2020, or October, I guess, of 2020. And uh, so you obviously know Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So they had a pink CV in here for sale. And I saw that pink CV and I'm like, that's my third color. So I bought that radio, I put it in the truck, and then I put my pink stripe and stuff on, so. That's awesome. Yeah. And then you just, for the shows, you just, you know, add some other accents to yourself or yeah, what? Yeah, just add a little flair. Uh, you know, trying to have a good time, be fun, you know. Yeah. I guess if somebody mouths it about it, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about, man, having fun. You right, know? yeah. And, and again, it's all about awareness. And most most people, you know, now think about any pink accents, they think that it's uh, uh, breast cancer, you know. Right. Um, right. Beside it just being a pretty color, but it's all, you know, awareness for that, you know. So That's sure. cool. Uh, probably the cool thing with my pink nails, as you'll see, is a good friend of mine, uh, Jamie House, that's here showing his truck. Uh, his sweet little 10 year old daughter painted my nails for me last night, uh, nice. having a good time. Yeah, so, you yeah. know, that made it even better. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't really say no. Right, yeah. <laughs> I can't say no to a little 10 year old little girl. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> uh, last question advice that you would give to some other person that, that wants to, you know, build a company up or and or do something similar. Uh, you know, what advice can you give them? Oh, don't do it. No, um, you know, the trucking industry has changed a lot in the last several years that I've seen. Um, you're getting a lot of single guys, you know, that are going on rock style and whatever. And that's all great and dandy. But they also uh, tend to, well, I'll take that load, take that load because you're hungry and, and, and you're not getting a real good rate on it. You know, I try to hold out for a little better rate if I can, but, you know. Hopefully I never go broke going empty. So, so yeah. basically hashtag don't haul cheap freight, is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try not to, you know, I mean, do the best you can, but you gotta you gotta make money. So yeah. you know, if you ain't gonna make money, it ain't worth doing. So yeah. I wouldn't suggest uh, loading it up. You know? yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and last question, uh, I may have said last question already, but I tend to say that because I think about some other things. So what are I your thoughts? Another bit time, I can't go anywhere. <laughs> right on. So uh, what do you think about the show so far? I love it. I love it. Uh, like I said, it's my third year being at this show. Um, it's been fun every year. Of course, I love the weather. Obviously, I'm a palm tree guy, so you know yeah. it's perfect for me. Uh, but there's so many good people that show up down here, and like I say, I mean, a lot of large rides, and uh, it's just enjoyable to hang out and have a good time and enjoy everybody else's truck and be a part of it, you know, and, and that they allow me to be a part of it. So. Right on. Yeah, appreciate you. Well, I'm always looking for you, and I, I enjoy uh, every single time I come across you. I'm glad that this is the first opportunity we've had to have to, to talk at, at length. Yep. So yep. it was uh, yep. good to always learn a little bit about the family, man. Yep. So enjoy the rest of the show. Yeah, you too, brother. All right, we'll see you. see you, man. Bye. All right, thank you. How's it going? How you going, man? Yeah, doing good, doing good. You enjoying the show so far? Yeah, I am. Yeah? Yep. All right, Come to get your thoughts on it. How are you doing down there? Something like that. Yeah? Something like that. Yeah. So uh, how long have you guys been here today? Well, we just came about maybe an hour ago or so, but we've been here since, yes, since, since yesterday. We've been here since yesterday. Okay, all right. So uh, what trucks are standing out for you? Oh, boy. I don't know oh. if you see Notorious Pig, but yeah. oh, that's the a pig different breed over I think, there. I think the Notorious Pig is doing it. Yeah. All those lights, Dural Revolution, uh, uh, he's doing it with that, with the light. If it's a light for the light show, uh -huh. I think I'm going to give it to the Notorious Pig. But you I mean you got some boys over here just yeah. purchases it? Yeah. Right, it's yeah. a 1988 truck, but it's a real nice truck. I mean, the next to a cross, uh -huh. right. running Detroit, running a Cat. 
I mean, there's a whole bunch of pretty trucks over here, boy. Okay. All right. And uh, how many years have you guys been coming to the show? Uh, this was my first year. First but year. you know, the funniest thing, I saw you one. I was watching your show. My son, he always want to watch a truck show every night. So yeah. watching the truck show and I saw you guys, I, I saw that interview when they had that emergency when they brought it, when the guys was coming down here with all those generators. Yeah, South Sea. South Sea from New York. Yeah. I saw you were doing that interview. Okay. Coming down, riding next to them and coming down. That's when I got interested. I said, you know what, I think I might come down and okay. check the show out. So it was a good look. Good, good. Yeah, so, what do you what do you think about this show as a whole? Oh, this show is a great show. Yeah, great. It's a great Love show. It. Love it. It, it really you, shows you a lot going on in the truck community that you don't see. Love it. Right, cool. Would you come back next year? Definitely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. definitely. All, right. All right. Cool. All right. They, well, got, a lot of, they got a lot of money year. out here. Yeah. Got to bring our truck next year. Yeah. What do you guys got? We're in a classic. 1998 classic. Okay. All right. Yeah, man. Bring it. We need more Freightliners around here. Oh yeah, I see it yeah, because we, we're doing a lot of peats though. Yeah, that's we're right. About maybe like one or two Freightliners, but yeah. they're mostly peats and K KWs. Yeah, yeah, mix it up with the Freightliner, man. We'll see you guys next year, right? All right, man. Take All care, right. man. Yeah, see you. All right. Have All a right. good one. You too. Nick, how are you? I'm not too bad, Chris. How are you? Doing good. Good yeah. to see you here yeah, at the 25th annual uh, 75 Chrome Shop Truck Show. Yeah, definitely good to see you as well. Yeah. Well, I was going to say welcome back to Florida, but, you know, half your family is here in Florida and you're here all the time. So. Anytime I can get a chance to come back home, I come back home for I, sure. I so, hear you. Yeah, yeah. We're standing in front of something that looks really cool. Uh, tell us all about it. So uh, this is a 2019 glider that I built for Travis Sankin out of uh, Grays Lake, Illinois. Mm -hmm. uh, the truck was originally purchased from 12 Gauge Customs. Uh, as a glider, um, it came to us, no motor, no trans, and was a full build. Uh, we've had it for four years, unfortunately. COVID kind of pushed it back. Uh, we had Don Wood's truck in the shop. We had a couple of these car haulers that were here that we were already on the schedule, had to move around and push through. Uh, we missed Louisville two years in a row with it, but it, again, it was just kind of a, it's a sad story for us. You know, we, I feel bad for Travis that we weren't able to get it done, but at the same time, you don't want to push something out if it's not to the level that you promise your customer. So, uh, didn't make it this year. It just had a couple things that needed to get touched up and wanted to make sure it was on point. So, got it here and with all of the uh, uh, feedback that we're getting from everybody, I think we were able to manage and, and it'll be something he's happy with. The crazy part is, is he still hasn't seen it. He's, uh, he's seen it, you know, partially built here and there, obviously over four years. Uh, he's kind of got a running joke. His grandpa doesn't believe it even exists. So that's kind of funny too. Um, I don't know uh, if you remember, we he had that red and green one that we built for him. Mm -hmm. um, this one here is red and blue. His company colors are technically red and green. Everybody says, what's with the red and blue? And, and I got to put this on here is uh, Grant, the kid with the milk money truck. He, uh, this, this is his blue frame. So it was kind okay. of a kind of a punch at Grant from Travis with how close they are. You know, they've been friends since they were little kids. And it was uh, for Travis to basically come in one day, take a Snapchat and say, hey, they're building a truck that's got the blue frame like yours. I think it's your color. And it stirred up some stuff. And then Grant was like, whose frame is that? He's like, oh, that's Travis's. So that's pretty that's pretty cool to me. You know, it's funny. It's kind of kind of cool to be a part of something like that. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, very cool. Yeah. What are some standout features on uh, this truck? I think something that's pretty cool about it, again, you know, on that red and blue thing, the stripe, the, the, the larger body of the stripe, everybody thinks is black, but it's actually a dark blue with a bunch of different blue metallics in it. So uh, when the sun hits it just right or when the lighting's going and stuff, it's pretty cool because then, you know, you always get, like I had an a older couple this morning talking to me and everything they looked at it, they kept saying, wow, and the wife thought it was kind of funny. Every time she turned around, she'd be like, that's a fifth wow, that's a sixth wow. And she looked at the stripe and she pointed that out and she's like, you got a seventh, wow. It was, so it was pretty kind of cool. Um, that, that is something that I, I, I enjoy is that my thing is when it comes to paints and stuff, I like to see things work together, you know, and you, you can get kind of uh, chaotic, I guess you'd say, with some colors and stuff. Um, that, these wheels here, these are uh, the first set that JTX, uh, I believe they're out of Texas. We got them through 12 gauge customs that they spun out. Um, they are out of uh, a, a full machine block. Most of these guys, like uh, Derek Olson here, he's got ones that are just you know normal wheels that they machine out. These are truly custom all the way across. They wow. they're machined all the way out. So those are pretty neat for me. Um, Actually, I just said wow. So. Yeah, see, there's your wow factor. Uh, and then I mean, 
everything with whenever I'm in the middle of something or you know in the in the process of a build, I like to do things that are uh, you know where where it seems like the it flows right. And the, the bus glass thing's kind of a common thing right now, but I think it's cool on this because the bus bus glass has got that blue color to it, so it flows the blue into it. So that, that's another thing that's. Uh, really kind of cool to me to see you know once you stand back and you build something like this you stand back it just is like wow that, that works you know like that that's just another thing uh, but then the other one is Travis uh, was a big baseball player growing up and stuff and, and I you know growing up in South Miami baseball was my thing too and uh, when we were going back and forth with the interior uh, I worked with Randy from Spare Time on it, and the one thing that Travis said is he was like, you know, everybody does red and a tan or something, and I, I've always liked those colors, but can we do something that's a little, you know, maybe to pull something different? And I said, well, with your tie to baseball and my tie to baseball, I actually have a Rawlings wallet that my mom got me for Christmas. I pulled out and I showed it to him. I said, what if we went this way? So the, the leather is actually like a Rawlings baseball glove leather. And then with the red stitching, so it, again the red pulled inside, it matches, but then it's got that baseball. So it's it's it, it's all those little things like that to me are what make the you know the details for it. So cool. it's funny too when you're talking to somebody, they point that out. You know, they're like, "Is this baseball glove?" And it's like, "Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, awesome." Right, yeah. Let's start with this panel here. Uh, this is what you're talking about with that that stitching. Yeah, the baseball glove stitching. Yeah, you know these doors get a little a little wild from factory. They got all kinds of different things going on. Um, everything about this was like everything else that you see you know everybody has a style you know you want to be less is more I grew up with that my dad always said less is more uh -huh. it's kind of funny there was a, a gentleman here last night that my dad has known for years and uh, Jay he works for kitchen craft and that was always the cool thing about their trucks running up and down 65 as a kid I remember seeing the kitchen cat craft trucks and their trucks were just always you know they, they had a look you saw them they had a look and that's it's kind of you know one of those things just less is more so we didn't want to get too crazy adding too much on here you know the, the leather with the red stitching has already kind of got a little bit of a wildness to it so you don't want to keep adding too much more to it but then you know you get inside the dash we paint the dash the floors and everything smooth it all out some people you know they say that's a little too much red but at the same time you know you, you've got a lot going on you don't want to just keep adding to it so uh, we sent the, the gauges and the switches out to NT Lights out of, I believe he's out of Nebraska. Uh, he does a lot of our builds for us. He goes and you know converts all that stuff over to red lighting. So at night, everything in here is red. Uh, the lights above, those are uh, dual uh, function ones. Same with these. Uh, I got two switches in here. The customer can uh, switch it, turn all this stuff on red for the show. But let's say he's, you know, he's got to do something with his logs or, uh, I mean, obviously logs aren't really a thing anymore, but he's got to do something, a map or whatever. He can flip a switch and it turns everything in here white instead. So he can actually see what he's doing, you know. So that's that's a cool factor on the inside here. Uh, again, we got in, we get into the, you know, the seating. Everything is rolled in. It's tied. Makes it uh, all flow together. Uh, 12 gauge customs built us this cool, pretty, uh, this box here. It's a pretty cool feature to have. Um, Hides the train horn valve, yeah. but also lets everybody know that's a valve. You know, yeah. uh, that's a spare time fab twin stick kit. Mm -hmm. um, it's a nice little uh, addition. Just mm -hmm. kind of Travis's grandpa again doesn't believe the truck exists, so it's kind of cool to see that Travis wanted to do something that's old school, like what his grandpa was around. So yeah. you know, we don't. It doesn't really have that six and a four, but you know, it gets that that dummy stick in there. Uh -huh. Has that feel for it. Uh -huh. um, one thing that I, I kind of think is cool is if you call my shop. We'll, uh, we help a lot of guys out with this because everybody's trying to figure out how to do it. But that's a 15 inch steering wheel for like a hot rod car. And we get the adapters done up and everything so they can bolt those in here. My brother does it. We do them all in Vinny from Roland's truck. Mm -hmm. Don from DSD, his truck's got one. So that's pretty cool. I mean, we're not the only ones doing it, but you know, if you come here, we've, we've got them in stock and we can help guys out with that. Now, when will Travis get to see the truck? <laughs> Uh, well, at least here, Don Wood is going to haul it to, uh, I believe he's going to Truett's show this coming weekend, and then it's from there he's going to the Pete Invite show uh -huh. um, for the unveiling of the 589. Uh, Travis, who I thought was going there, and I just found out he's not going to make that one either. So uh -huh. it's kind of doing its tour without the owner. So I'm going to say probably the middle of May, by the time it gets back, yeah. he'll finally get to see it. So other than pictures. Okay. Travis is going to be able to see that truck on the internet more 
than in person just yet, huh? Yeah. You yeah. might even watch this video and get some close ups yeah, of some yeah, things or everybody else's stuff. So, yep, yep. but great job on it. I Again, appreciate it. you guys do great stuff. I appreciate it. That's uh, that's what I aim for. You know, everybody asks about the truck, or they they always got questions and stuff like that. Like there's a gentleman down here that I was talking to and asking everything we did to it, and he's like, "So you built it?" And I said, "Yeah." You know, ideas roll around. I got I got some great guys in the shop. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I'd love to get them to come to something like this. Let them, you know be a part of it and show what we do and you know take pride in what we do um, unfortunately it still hasn't been able to happen we're just so busy you can't really get out I'm I guess I get to say I'm the lucky one that gets to come right you know but uh, that without those guys we couldn't do this um, TA truck painting they paint everything for us we're in the same shop and you know same building so that's kind of works out great um, but yeah it's 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 definitely fun to be here but that gentleman was saying so you're like the Picasso of trucks and it's like no you know I just I, I love building them, like doing this interview with you. Like I said, do any time for you, I'll make time. But I really, I'm not. You, you got lucky because I don't like these interviews. I, this is for the guy you build the truck for. You know, it's 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 to me, it's a passion. I love doing it. I'm just lucky enough that I get to do it for somebody. Yeah. You know, so, that's cool. Yeah. Yep. A uh, question, a curious question for me. Behind you, up on the glass there, the SF with the wings. Tell me about that. That is Sean Farkas. Uh, okay. You're I'm gonna, glad you're I gonna, asked. You're gonna yeah. catch me in an emotional one. Uh, yeah. My dream started with this place, uh, 75, since I was a kid. And uh, this Farkas family, man, they, they've always treated us just like family. You know, you come around here, Jenna Lee, David, I look up to all of them. Uh, Carrie, Sean, uh, you could talk to him. You could talk to anybody, you could just talk to him. He'd talk. So uh, I, I had to do that for him. You know, that's a, that's, that goes on the truck. Travis. I hope he uh, he knows you know he has that appreciation for it and, and understands yeah. why it's on there. So yeah, that, that had to be on there. So. Yeah, just just to represent this yeah. is this is a hard hard thing to be at. So. Yeah, well, yep. you know, that that is more than a, a testament and a nice touch. That's yeah. just something that comes obviously comes from the heart. And oh, you yeah. guys are wearing pink today. Yeah. You know, not, not most. It was an announcement that you know wear pink for yeah. for Sharon Farkas today, Saturday during the show. So yeah, it's good I, I to don't see I don't any, own anything pink. I went and bought this, and like uh, I was talking to my brother Aaron. I said, "What what pink are you wearing?" He's like, "Ah, oh, I think I got a shirt coming from them." I said, "Well, I don't own pink, and I I, I just can't wear pink, you know." So this is the closest I could get that I know I'll wear it again. <laughs> Yeah, it works out, bro. Yeah, 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 it's cool to do it. Just you know, to represent them. You know, that's, yeah. they're they're a great family, and I, I couldn't make his funeral, but it just being here and, and him not being here, it hurts. But to put that on there, yeah, and make sure he's he's with us. You know? That's cool. You know, more than likely, a lot of people are probably going to follow suit. Yeah. You know, now that they understand what that represents, because yeah. a lot of people. They love being here, coming to this show, and being involved with the with the Farkas family any way they can. Oh so, yeah, yeah. They, you know, they, you know they've, they've got a they've got a great name for themselves here, and I mean, uh, look at the beautiful facility. Like it's anybody you talk to around here, they talk about cleaning their trucks in the parking lot. You know, it doesn't even have to be for this show. It's just, oh yeah, I get a chance to come down to Miami. I stop at 75. You know, get to walk through, buy some stuff, and they just got a beautiful layout. You know? yeah. Nice weather all the time and stuff like that. So yeah, I, I think uh, I think a lot of people who knew Sean and understand yeah. what that is you'll see that sticker yeah. I mean I've I've got a couple just for my personal vehicles at home um, Mike at the vinyl shop I bought one of their license plates from him that's gonna go in my garage it's you know make sure he's he's always yeah. you know with us so that's cool yep. all right Nick thank you for your time man I, I and appreciate it. yep enjoy the rest of the show thank you very much all right bro. we'll see you Sir. Tito. Tito, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. Well, thank you. What do yeah. you think of the show this year? I love it. I love it. Every year, it seems to get a little better and better. Yeah. Better trucks, better people. Yeah. And that's always the best thing, yeah, man. That's, cool. that's always the yeah, best thing. Yeah, that's key. Better people. There's a lot of good folks running these trucks and everything. So. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. You still got some that not as friendly, but hey, yeah. ain't no. nothing you can do about that, that. That's okay. That's part of life. Yeah. So what's uh, your what's the highlight of this show for you? Oh, just mainly the chrome and shine. I mean, I just love it. Just walking around, watching how much people invest in their own jobs, the equipment they invest on. 
because this is our livelihood. Yeah. And you can tell when people put money back into it yeah. because they love what they do. Yeah, for sure. Like you do. You love what you do, so yeah. you keep doing it. Yeah, I hear you. you. Know? You're crazy driving next to the trucks to see to every yeah. miles an hour. But <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that, it is. It's a little crazy, you know. Control chaos, you know. But you know how that goes. You never uh, know, though. Yeah, you never yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, any trucks that stand out here as your favorite? Uh, no, not really. They're all great. They're all great trucks. I couldn't really pick one. So what you're saying is, if somebody gave you a key in one of these trucks, and you had to choose, you could add your pick to take one home. You would know which one to take home. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I definitely, if it's a beat, I'll definitely close. I, I close. I'll take a beat. Yeah. All right. I can't drive right. standard on my. I got a bum leg. Yeah. All right. yeah. So what what stands out for you then? The one stands out that the red W9 up there with the low boy. That one really stands out. Okay, that'll be uh, Bubba Branch's Bubba truck. Bubba Branch's truck, okay. yeah. Right, yeah, he cool. used to have a 660 before, yeah. and then he upgraded to that. Yeah. And then he told me he got about six, eight more in the fleet. Yeah. So, okay. pretty cool. Right. Legacy is from my hometown, from okay. uh, well, Clay County. Okay. So that's where I stay at in Little Florida. Yeah. That's okay. what uh, Legacy is from. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah, cool. man. Enjoy nice the talking show. to you. Yes, sir, you yep. too. We'll Take see you. Bye bye.
our 25th anniversary. We really greatly appreciate the turnout. It was absolutely amazing. Once again, thanks to all you guys. Took the time. I'm going to turn into David now. No, 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 This year we had a different sponsor. Mr. Corey, he finally made it. Dynaflex Products, they um, are our huge diamond sponsor this year, so we greatly appreciate him. Very, very good. Guys, I just want to say that um, the most important thing for us is to reinvest in everybody that's on this lot continually. Um, we don't have a business, a brand. Uh, you know, my employees, they don't eat, they don't have homes. If it's not for everybody in this room that supports us and the industry, you know, and so uh, we just want to take every opportunity to reinvest um, in, in this industry and into good people like the Farkas family, who we appreciate very much. It's pretty fun to do business, you know, a couple family businesses that are just out here grinding it out, trying to do that, you know, fight that good fight. So yeah. thank you guys so much, all of you and 75 Chrome. We love this show. I love this show. I won't miss this show for the next 25 years. So right. let's go. As you all know, this has been a really tough year for us, but we could not have done it with the help that showed up, came with it, got it together. God bless him, but we're here, we're doing it. Thank y'all, every single one of y'all for being here every day. They have really, really, really worked a lot of hours. They're tired, we're all tired, we're crying, we're happy, we're, it's raining outside. I mean, we've had tornadoes, we've had hail, we've had rain, we've had sunshine. Welcome to Florida, guys. This is what we do. I'm not going to get into these two behind me because then I will ball like a baby, but David and Carrie, just give them a round of applause because we do it. Prime Shine. Prime Shine is the award that we all, as a chrome shop, pick together. Whoever has the best use of chrome, pretty lights, paint, you know, it's just going to look good. So. Our pick this year for Prime Shine is number 103, Stryer, Sal Farms, Zach Stryer. <laughs> Next award is People's Choice. People's Choice is where all the people vote on their favorite truck. We did have a ton of votes, and I promise, I sat in there and counted them, every one of them. This year, People's Choice is, I'm going to say this really fast, really quick, number 221, Atlas Heavy Hall Bubble Ranch. Boom! Thank you to everybody, every, people that came out to do this for us, with us. I'm going to try to say this without getting... Oh man. So, can we all just give a round of applause for the Farkas family and the public that they lay out for us, both of you, all of us, everyone of us. So, uh, David, Gary, generally, kids. As I look across here, we're missing. There's Miss Debbie. Kitchen. Miss Debbie's in the kitchen. We're missing one. I've been blessed to be here out of the 25 years, 24 of the 25 spectator, most of them. Um, can we just all bow our heads real quick as a prayer for Mr. Billy Farkas, please. Lord, I want to say thank you for bringing us all together. Lord, I want to say thank you for all the blessings that we've all received. Lord, I want to ask that you uh, please put your healing hands on Mr. Billy from here and every day throughout. Lord, I ask that you watch over him, keep him safe. Let him know we love him. We miss him. We sure enjoyed him being here yesterday. So you guys please just say a prayer for Mr. Billy as he goes through his healing process and getting better. Mr. Billy, we love you. Thank you guys. Amen.
That's it. Thank you. I appreciate it. What an honor to be here with all of you. Thank you to the Farkas family. They always roll out the carpet for us every year. You guys know that. It's always the best. So thank you guys very much. Yeah. All right, I know with the weather, sorry, we just kind of shoved all in here. We weren't sure if it was going to rain. Hell, sunshine, and now it's windy. So once again, thank you all so very much for being here this year. We don't, you just have no idea the feeling you get when you walk out that back door Wednesday morning and that lot was so full from front to back because of all of you guys took your time. We thank you very, very much and we'll see y'all next year. Thank you. Thank you.